Hi there, Ollie here from White Gates in Murfield. You join me today at a really nice, enclosed, private, detached bungalow. Um, it's situated at the bottom of Crossley, towards the bottom of Crossley Lane, close where it joins up to uh, Shillbank. Um, but it's set right back. You'll, we'll, you, you will see outside, um, and I'll show you down that track. Actually, we'll we'll have a look up and down the track from both sides, just so you can see um, the privacy of this one. Lovely wrought iron gates, uh, and a real. It, it's it's on a, a handy road. We're in Murfield, yet there's a real sense of privacy on this one, which is right up my street. To be honest, I grew up on a farm at the end of a track, so my sort of thing is this one. Uh, it's got a garage, good sized garage actually, power and light in there, loads of parking at the front for modern life, modern family life as well. If you've got a caravan or a motorhome, bags of space for that. Uh, a nice enclosed garden to the rear. Uh, from the front, all the front facing um, rooms have got lovely views. Uh, same from the back when you're in the garden there. Uh, and then the kitchen, dining kitchen, huge uh, living room. Do take a look at the floor plan, have a look at those measurements. The living space on offer here is fab. And there's an additional reception room actually that's uh, uh, an extension to the side. So loads of living space and, and decent bedroom space as well. Um, it's a good one. Uh, there's no chain on this either, so should you uh, go for it, the vendors, the current owners of the property uh, have got somewhere to go, which is brilliant. So it means you're not caught up in a big, big, long chain. Um, so yeah, it's a real, real fantastic one. We'll flip the camera, have a wander around, and I will catch up with you at the end. Okay, I'm still on Crossley Road now. Uh, it just continues down here onto Shillbank, and then you hang a right up into Murfield. So right at the bottom of Crossley Lane. Uh, and then looking back up there, obviously this weaves all the way up and uh, pops out at the bottom of Sunnybank. Um, so yeah, and then it is really tucked away. So we've got, these two are on Crossley Lane proper and the property is tucked down this lovely little track there. And we will go take a look now. And here we are at the gates, beautiful wrought iron gates there. And then looking back down where I was just stood, just down there. And then you can see the garage, detached garage just here, and the property there. The front door there comes out onto this lovely big entrance hall, got central heated radiator straight away. Uh, and from here, we've got access this way down to all the bedrooms and the bathroom. Straight ahead into the kitchen, so real handy we are shopping straight through the front door and into the kitchen there. And then we'll start, hang a left here, into this massive living room, real big reception room, this one. Uh, the, the vendors have got some lovely big furniture in here. A fantastic fireplace there. That's a gas fire, that one. Um, centrally heated radiator as well. Little side window there, so loads of natural light. And then just to get your bearings, we're facing the front there. So there are the raw iron fences and the, the view beyond. I'll flip back. So yeah, real nice big room. Into the kitchen diner now. So space for a huge range cooker, dual fuel uh, behind there. So you've got gas and electric hookup points. Uh, this lovely shaker style kitchen, timeless style with a nice black granite effects, laminate worktop, a one and a half bowl sink there plumbing there for the dishwasher uh, and then that continues the units to the side here as well all matching up and then space for a big American style fridge and, and, and space for a big dining suite there so really nice French doors there out into that conservatory and a, a useful rear door as well out into the garden uh, and a breakfast bar area so if it's a family house you can all kind of the kids can grab their breakfast and, uh, and, and fly off to school so yeah a big lovely kitchen diner a reversing back out onto the entrance hall. We'll take a look at the bedrooms now. Okay, this front bedroom is set up as a, an office come dressing room. Uh, so lots of furniture in here uh, and it's uh, a, a, a decent sized room. Get a double bed in here once it's all cleared. Again, front facing window. And then we're into the master. So there's a king size bed, big wardrobe real nice space and again it takes advantage of that front view so a really nice room back out oh there's some storage actually on the entrance hall which is super handy and the back room here is set up as a utility but again decent sized bedroom being a bungalow you can configure this how you want they've got the utility in the office you could have it back as three bedrooms 
uh, yeah, just kind of change it as you wish. And then into this bathroom, so we've got four piece suite, a separate shower, enclosure, obviously the loo, lovely twin bowl, kind of contemporary looking sinks, and then a freestanding bath here uh, with a lovely floor mounted mixer tap and a little shower head as well for washing your hair. Uh, frosted glass, of course, to the rear. Uh, and I'll just flip round behind me there. You've got the chrome ladder style radiator there. So, and an extractor fan just up there. So real nice, white, clean looking, fully tiled to this wall and splashed back around here. Uh, lovely. Okay, here I am in the side extension, just off the uh, kitchen, which is through these glazed doors here, the kitchen diner. Uh, so we've got uh, the front facing window there uh, with the nice views over the top of the houses. I'll spin round. It's been set up as a nice little lounge area. Uh, you could get a dining table back here as well. And then you've got the uh, sliding patio doors there out into that enclosed garden. So I'm stood at the front door now with my back to the door and just look at that lovely view. Fantastic. And I'm pretty much banging the sunshine right now as well. What are we on? It is 25 to 12 and the sun's just here. So that will track round and set to the back. So we've got pitch roof, stone fronted, really in keeping with the, uh, with the house there. Uh, really attractive garage, not one of these concrete sectional jobs. Uh, and then yeah, the wrought iron gates, uh, they're fob operated, really cool. So when you pull up, they'll open up. Uh, and they open up to this lovely big parking area and the house there, really pretty. Sun's trying to peek out, which is really nice actually. Back across the front of the house. This seated area, the uh, current vendors are taking advantage of that view. Uh, we've got a secret garden around the side of the garage here. So there's some fish in there and again, a lovely seated area, super lovely. And then around the side, nice wide access around the side, good place to hide your bins. Into the back. There we go. So more patio area, a conservatory at the back there. And then this opens out through this gate here to a lawn area. And again, once I'm elevated up in this corner here, it's a real nice spot. And again, 12 o'clock, we're in the sun. Absolutely lovely. So there we go, guys. Um, another really, really nice one. <clears throat> Frog in my throat, sorry. Um, yeah, uh, I love the outside space. I love the privacy. I really, really like that. Uh, and then the actual property is... A big one. Yeah, yeah. When you're walking through, it just keeps going. You've got that, that big lounge, the big dining kitchen, huge dining suite in there. And then the additional reception room to the side, which could be, a, you know, a fourth big bedroom if you need it to be. Uh, obviously, it's, it's it's level living, so you, you can configure it to your requirements. So the current owners have got the study, they've got the utility area, they've got the second lounge. You could have them set up as four bedrooms or a mixture of them all. So, you know, work with it however it works for you and as your life continues so if you've got kids who clear off you can then convert the rooms as you wish lovely but that the outside space the privacy yet with the convenience of being so close to murfield um it's it's a real unique one is this loads of bungalows out there on streets one after the other this one is called the hideaway and it, it, it suits its name it's, it's super cute uh, substantial and uh, nice house. Do give us a shout for a viewing. Uh, we'd be happy to accommodate you as soon as we can. Cheers, guys. Bye.